um, made me 71, so, no, um, yeah. because, because, um, they accidentally, mm -hmm. It's 8.36, they left you so close. Jump, 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 so bye Fisher, bye Edith. Yeah, say bye. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are well. So today is actually Tuesday. This morning it was my turn to drop off the kids to school. So got them ready, dropped them off to school and then I needed to return a package. So I did that, came home and then gave Rayhan breakfast, had a coffee myself. I'm not fasting yet. Tomorrow um, I'll be back to fasting inshallah. I had my collagen coffee. It's the first time I had it. It was really, really nice. Um, only thing is you definitely don't need as that much sugar in it i usually have three sugars in my tea three sugars don't judge me but i have three sugars and i thought let me just put two in a coffee because it is like a caramel coffee so it probably will be sweet anyway so i only put two sugars but even that was too much so def i think one sugar would be enough anyways i am going to work out what i'm going to do for iftar today i have taken some gima out so some lamb gima and i'm thinking i'm going to make um chapli kebabs today i bought a chapli kebab mix from asda so i'm gonna use that today i'm gonna test it out hopefully it comes out nice i'll probably do some janna chop and then i don't know what else i'm gonna do shark usually ends up um cutting potatoes and making like homemade chips but yeah that's the plan today um i'm gonna make it start in a bit i am gonna eat something i'm gonna have a glass of water because i've got like a really sharp pain going through my head here i've had it since i've woken up and i thought um the coffee would help but it hasn't helped so i'm gonna have some water and i might have to pop a few pills <laughs> might have to have some paracetamols i'm not a big paracetamol like medicine eater like i don't every little pain go and have medicine i try to ride the pain out but i might today because it is i am struggling a bit rehan is over here playing he's playing with his cars all his cars are out as you can see and yeah let me um go in and make myself something to eat part of me just wants to lay down on the sofa for a bit um shut my eyes for about 10 minutes maybe that will help with my headache but then i know that's not going to help with my headache that's probably going to make it feel worse anyways let me stop talking to start off with and go and sort out something to eat for myself so i made eggs and i had some mushrooms in the freezer so i added some mushrooms i added some spinach um, and then I also had some onions in the freezer, so I added those and then two eggs and I'm gonna have that with some toast. I'm making myself two toasts um, And yeah, I'm gonna have some water with it. I'm not gonna have tea because I had a coffee this morning And that is my breakfast and By the time I finish this it will probably be Rayhan's lunch time Paint! 
painting. What's that? Paint. What color? Color. Wow. 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 Okay. 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 Make a start on prepping if start starts. So I'm going to do the kebabs first. I'm going to use this. Okay, these were really really stressful to make they kept breaking apart and i tried to make them big because japanese kebabs are usually big but these are going to shrink so they're probably not going to be as big as i wanted them to be but it was so difficult because um maybe because it was frozen kima last time i used it when i just got it from the meat shop so maybe that's why this was frozen so i don't know it was difficult today um, but yeah, I've done this many. I've got four in there, which I'm going to make later or I'm going to make it tomorrow. I think I'll make it today because this was frozen kima. I'm not sure if it'll be all right till tomorrow. So it's better if I make it and then obviously once it's cooked, then we can have it tomorrow. Just reheat it tomorrow. Anyway, it's done. It smells very nice though. <laughs> Right, I've got 10 minutes before I have to get to the school to pick up the girls. I usually get there in a few minutes, but the only annoying thing is that um, I probably won't get parking space, which is annoying. But it's fine. <laughs> Hopefully Rehan doesn't fall asleep. We've been home for like an hour. Um, basically, Rehan was a bit emotional. So I was literally just sitting on the sofa with him in my lap. So yeah, he got off me, he started playing. I'm gonna go in the kitchen and start making the kebabs. The chana chart's done. I just need to add yogurt to that, which I'll add at some point. That can be added last minute. My head is hurting me. My head has not stopped hurting me the whole day. And I I know I said I was gonna have paracetamol if it stopped hurting, but I've just been un avoiding it. So I'm when I like, you never know, if it really, really gets bad by the time I go to bed then I'll have it before I go to bed but yeah it's hurting me quite a lot and now it's like spread oh, I'm not scared of that now it's spread like all but yeah hopefully I think it's just from going to sleep really really late and then getting up early um and not drinking enough water I'm not even fasting and I'm still not drinking enough water <clears throat> but yeah anyway so I'm gonna go down in a bit I'm just gonna sit up here for a few minutes and what was I saying? So yeah, basically we've got chicken curry. So the kids will have that for dinner. And then if Shakur wants anything else apart from the dinner chart and kebabs, then there's chicken curry for him as well. I don't know what is going on today, but I feel like it's because the mint was frozen. I'm going to stick to the This Muslim Girl's recipe because something has gone terribly wrong with this recipe and I'm so upset. Complete fail. I'm so upset right now. Well, at least my jenna chart has turned out nice. It always does, alhamdulillah. Let me mix it. The kids are asleep, alhamdulillah. 
I just washed my face. I bought this and this a while ago, like way before I went to Pakistan, probably a month before I went to Pakistan. And I'm only just using it today for the first time or just now. Um, basically, I had I bought these from Primark before I went to Pakistan and I really like them. So these, so this Primark face wash and then this is an exfoliator, which I only do once a week. And I really, really like them. It's only like £2.50 and that is £2.50 as well. Um, I didn't see a cream there, but if there was a cream in the same range, I would have got that as well. Really, really love it. So I've been using this, but then I remembered I bought this base lift product. So this is a turmeric and niacinamide tone corrector cloud face wash. And then this is a nighttime cream, turmeric and lactic acid tone correct night cream um i bought it from base lift off tiktok and yeah a while ago and i haven't started using it so what i'm going to do now is use this during the day like i usually do and then i'm going to use this in the evening so i've just used the face wash just now um i still need to cream my face i used to go try and find all these like over the top skincare routines because of my skin I've been suffering my skin um, and I just literally can't be bothered with it so this has been working really well um, I do use a cream that I got from Lidl but I don't know where that is right now but um, yeah I just use that during the day and I use this and I used it in Pakistan and I bought it back for me and I've been using it and I absolutely love it um, it's nearly finished so I will go and get another one and then this I do once a week I'm not sure if you're meant to do exfoliating twice a week or once a week but I only do it once a week and I love it so if you're looking for face washing stuff and you don't want to spend loads of money just get this one from Primark and then exfoliate from Primark and then if they do have a cream I want to go see if they've got a cream because I would love to get the cream and see what that's like absolutely love that um, but yeah I am going to start using this now every night um, and then obviously this because this is a nighttime cream but yeah let me do my cream um, I was really stressed earlier on because the kebabs didn't turn out the way I wanted them to but do you know what they were actually nice so I was really upset and stressed and then Shaka came home and opened his fast and he tried them he's like they're really nice they look burnt but they didn't taste like they were burnt they taste like they were nicely cooked and they taste like chapli kebabs they had the right amount of spice they actually turned out really really good the only thing is they're breaking apart quite easily so even in the cooking process they're like a few of them broke mum gave me a few suggestions um i think egg was one of them and breadcrumbs so maybe next time i need to do that but when i made the first kebabs where i followed this muslim girl bakes recipe i didn't use breadcrumbs i didn't use egg i just put oil in the actual quema i use a grill pack griddle pan i don't need to put oil in that and when i did the first one when i made the followed the recipe this muslim girl bakes recipe the oil just came out of the actual kebabs i didn't need to put any other oil and it cooked that way but for some reason even i put oil in this one the oil wasn't coming out um, onto the grill like the griddle pan so it was like I was dry cooking it I don't know I don't know if it's because it was like frozen gima that I defrosted if that made a difference I'm gonna test it again and try it again um, next time I'm gonna make it with um, fresh gima but yeah I was really upset because I thought oh they ruined it's gone to waste they're not edible but they were edible they taste very nice they didn't look like they would be nice they looked like they were burnt to the crisp but they were they tasted really nice um and it's just the out part looked a bit but inside was perfectly cooked and that out part didn't taste burnt it tastes really nice but yeah anyway so i was getting upset for no reason and it actually turned out all right so alhamdulillah I didn't taste it at first, Shark was the first one to taste it. Shark was like, no, they're meant to look like that anyway, because that's how chocolate kebabs look. Um, but I was like, no, they're burnt, don't have them. And then he, he had that, he had it. And he was like, no, they're really nice. So then I tried it and I was like, yep, these are really, really nice. So I probably will make it again, but just with fresh gima. But yeah, 
I definitely do prefer this Muslim girl bakes recipe but maybe if I followed her recipe and did it with this kima it would have been the same thing I feel like it's because it was frozen kima and defrosted um but yeah I need to take off my scarf to do this cream properly <laughs> but yeah anyways um the kids have gone to sleep um we read the stories um of the prophets today it's called love for the prophets that was our nighttime story today we love that book absolutely love that book it's like one of our favorite one to read the girls choose what prophet they want to read about and then we, we don't read the whole entire book because it's all the prophets we basically choose one of the prophets we want to read about and then we read that part section of the book but yeah i'm gonna end this video here now because the kids have gone to sleep and i have time to just relax and edit some videos and yeah inshallah um i will catch you on the next vlog which will be the week vlog which i'm filming ready which i started filming yesterday so yeah anyways by the way i already feel like this cream is amazing so let's see how it goes by the way i feel like my skin has got a lot more better um i'm not breaking out as much and my scarring's going and i feel like a part of the reason is because of the primark face wash but also i've started using my philips my philips lumia you know the ilp laser thingy which i bought you know when the first lockdown happened I bought it at that time and then I didn't use it properly and I have hadn't used it for years because I you know got pregnant with Rayhan and then obviously had him and just couldn't be bothered so I've started using it again but I'm, I'm not using it anywhere else but my face at the moment because I just don't have the energy to start the whole process everywhere um but yeah I've used it twice already and this week I'm due my is it this week or next week I have to check my app um I'm due the third one and already I can see the difference so usually when I just epilate within like three four days I can see hair starting to grow um and then within like a week and a half like I literally got my moustache is fully grown um I've got like I get hair over here and my chin that's like grown and stuff but just on two sessions and like I've got a little bit of hair that's grown here and that's because I'm due now to do it this week but my face I've got like nothing growing here on my chin nothing and just that's, that's on two sessions so I'm going to continue to go like continue to do it every two weeks and then I think as you go on slowly you don't have to do it every two weeks you do it every like month I think and or you just do it every time you just do it when the hair stop grows when you see hair growing that's when you do it but yeah anyways i am gonna go now um hopefully you've enjoyed this video and inshallah i will catch you on the next video bye assalamualaikum